Hello everybody, welcome back to Puppet Enters the Race. Praise be to God on this glorious day today. And we've just... <laughs> oh, forgive me. We got the awesome banjo music. Um, we just explored the Cartown Square and did a bunch of background stuff. Now we're going to explore the rest of Cartown. Oh, wow! Hey, it's Chuck, and it looks like he's in trouble. Hi, <laughs> Chuck. How's my face. little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh, one of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. <laughs> I'm one stuck, Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a square. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. <laughs> Chuck, what happened to you? Well, somebody put some nails on the ground in Papa Joins the Parade, and nobody cleaned them up, so I drive over them. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Actually, Papa did pick them up. Who who goes around Car Town dumping nails on the ground? I actually know who it is, but I won't go spoiling it just yet. <laughs> Remember, once you track down that tire patch kit, you gotta cut it on out in a square so I can fix my tire proper like. I'll remember that, Chuck. <laughs> hey, Chuck, get off the road! <laughs> Today, after the Car Town 500, don't forget to tune in to Fortunate Wheels on Channel 5. You'll see Car Town's very own Van White spin the big wheel for a chance at winning luxury seat covers. <laughs> Chuck looks so depressed and Puppets just like has the doofiest smile on his face when listening hey, to his folks, radio. Don't forget to recycle those bottles. Do your part to keep Car Town clean. Take your empties to Mr. Crankcase's Junk and Recycling today. All right. So, actually, Red Street, Green Street, and Blue Street have kind of all just merged into one. So they're not different colored streets. This is where the world differs from Puppet Joins the Parade, but that's okay, because I actually like this version of Cartown better. It's, it, it's got more cool places to visit and less neighborhoods filled with random cars who you don't remember. Look who it is! Hi, Outback Al. Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt, long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby numbat. Oh, it's so cute. A baby numbat, huh? This little numbat <laughs> showed up on my doorstep in the middle of the night, came all the way from southwestern Australia, not too far from my hometown. Well, he's very cute. Aw, he is Outback cute. Al? Are you saving that empty bottle for recycling? Not saving it exactly, matey. It's been sitting gathering dust. You're welcome to take it. Please. <laughs> Gee, AKA Outback Owl is a litterer. <laughs> Seriously, people, it is not that hard to not put trash on the ground. Actually, in Cartown, it kind of is because there are no trash cans anywhere, and the recycling is in the other part of town, and we're going to see why we can't go there just yet. So maybe I've been judging people too harshly for littering, and they didn't really litter. They, they was, it was stacked upright nicely, so maybe he was playing on doing something with the lady. Oh. Excuse me, it's a parrot. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> what the heck? Is somebody putting, like, pink lemonade in these fountains? <laughs> the fish was eating grape juice, apparently. That's real nice. Hey, what's up, dude? Hello, Mr. Fenderbender. Well, if it isn't Pit-Pit, why you'll never guess. I mean, never guess what happened. Bonzo, my cat, ran straight down this hole, and now he won't come out from under the house. Gosh, I don't think I can reach in there. But maybe I can find something that will make him want to come out, Mr. Fenderbender. Well, if you did, that would be the cat's bow wow. I mean the cat's meow. Ha ha ha. He was actually in Pup Pup Joins the Parade, but he looked completely different. He was like pink and purple and had a completely different look about him. Man, he's... He's got a tiny house considering how big he is. Also, there's no door to his house. Oh, maybe it's back there, but, like, seriously, wow. V 
Viva la Mexico! <laughs> Alright, well, we can't do anything with that just yet, unfortunately. Putt Putt, hello! Hi, Mrs. Airbag! How are you doing today? Just fine, Putt Putt. Where's Baby Beep? I want to talk to Baby Beep. Oh, yeah, it's the weird poodle. This dog has given me a lasting impression of what poodles are like, which is probably not fair. <laughs> oh well. I wasn't ever pointing on getting a poodle in any case. Wow, this all again! Nice. Yesterday, the craziest thing happened. I was pouring my morning bowl of pyro when Ralphie grabbed the box and buried it under a tree. This morning, I go out and there's a little bush growing, covered in tyros. Wow, a cereal bush? That's amazing! Wait, what the heck are tyros? Are they just seeds? And people buy them? <laughs> are you wow. planning to race in the Car Town 500, Putt Putt? I'm sure hoping to, Mrs. Airbag. I think it'll be a blast. Why did you have an ostrich in your bird? I have a lot of questions, Mrs. Airbag. This this seems like a very... Uh, are you a witch? You've, you've got giant exotic birds hiding in your bird feeder, and you're growing cereal into s trees that naturally sprout cereal. Mrs. Airbag, I was wondering if you wanted me to take your bottle to the recycling center today. That would be a big help, Putt-Putt. Thank you. Okay, and I'll bring the coin back for you. Oh no, Putt-Putt. You can keep the coin. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Airbag. <laughs> She's like, if you can recycle them. <laughs> Besides, she can probably just, like, turn lead into gold anyways. Alright, let's get away from her house. Uh, I don't trust her. Oh, yeah, it's the library! But Cartown finally splurged and bought themselves a public library where people can read stuff. I shouldn't bother him. He's reading. That guy has no proper problem bothering him, though. Holy cow. <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what the heck is this book? It is on its own podium, and there's some weird juju going on with it. Is this, like, the book of necromancy? That, I'm pretty sure, was Dory from uh, Super Mario 64. It just turned green. Uh, maybe we should take this book in the back and burn it. That seems like a good idea. I shouldn't bother him. He's reading. Those are the library safety scissors. I can use them to cut out shapes. But I don't have anything I want to cut now. Those look like racing flag numbers. Okay. Hey, odd animals of the alphabet. I'd like to take a look at that. All right, A is for aardvark. Aardvarks have long tons like worms, eating stuff that makes us squirm. Termites and ants, they love to crunch, though sometimes they eat green grapes for lunch. Oh, I didn't realize that these rhymed. Aardvark, B. bush baby. In Africa lives the bush baby. Although a baby, he is not. At night, he swings from tree to tree, and in daytime, he sleeps a lot. That's interesting. C. C is for... Oh, Capybara! Yeah! It's like the, the giant hamster. This fellow is huge, I tell you, and he's related to a rat. And he looks just like a guinea pig, only bigger than all that. Though Those things are crazy. D. Doug... Dugon? Dugon? Dugons live beneath the sea, but pop up to breathe the air. They mostly chomp on grasses growing under sea down there. E. e is for emu. That's not super weird. The emu is really a big bird who stands about five feet high. It has wings and feathers like a bird, but the emu, it cannot fly. F. F is for fat dormouse. I think it would be D is for dormouse. The fat dormouse is always hungry, eating everything it sees. But its favorite food of all, I'm told, is dried up pumpkin seeds. Holy cow, that thing is really fat. What the heck? Like, look at its, look at its body in proportion to its head. It's like as wide as our cat once was. That's insane. G. G is for Greater Bilby. <laughs> Bilby sucks, but Greater Bilby is funny to see because it's on its nose is growing hair, but the Bilby isn't spotted much because it's very rare. 
Is that so? Well, that's that's a very bizarre looking creature. H. H is for Hyrax. The Hyrax is just two feet tall and related to the elephant. I I'm sorry. What? <laughs> that doesn't look related to the elephant. It's so very strange to think that's true, but it's the information I've been sent. I. I is for Ibex. An Ibex is a wild goat with curly horns that grow so tall. It jumps and climbs up rocky cliffs, but hardly ever slips or falls. It's, yeah, it's just like a goat. J. J is for Jerboa. The Jerboa is so tiny, it jumps around three feet high. And when it makes these mighty leaps, it feels like it can fly. That thing is cute, but also bizarre looking. K. K is for Kinkachu. In South America lives the Kinkajou. I've never seen one up close, have you? They love to lap up honey the best, sticking their tons into buzzing bees' nests. He looks adorable, and I thought that's what Pikachu was based off of, but... No, it's not. Pikachu should have been based off of that. L. Lemurs are not weird. Didn't anybody watch Zabumafu? Lemurs are primates with black ring tails. They climb up trees, then leap and sail. The grown-ups feed on plants and leaves, but then they go to Zabuland. M. M is for Mudskipper. A Mudskipper, you must understand, lives in water as well as on land. Like other fish, he's born with gills, but also breathes through his mouth at will. Oh, that's kind of cool. And also, wow, I feel like he would be terrifying in real life. I don't want to find a picture of that. And it's for Numbit. Numbit lives in a gobble to gobble termites. He looks for them both day and night. He eats more than 20,000 a day? I wonder how many get away. I mean, hey, props to you. If you're eating terrible bugs, good on you. Oh. O is for Okapi. The Okapi's related to a giraffe. She lives in Africa, and this may make you laugh. Her tongue is the longest I've ever seen, and she can even lick her eyelids clean. Oh, that's her tongue? Oh, I thought that was like her lower jaw. And she was like, the like laughing. Oh, I. <laughs> my world has been blown. P. P is for polecat. I know polecats. Didn't anyone really re uh, read Matameo? Like a cross between a skunk and a weasel is this critter called a polecat. When it gets mad, it lifts its tail and lets out a stink in seconds flat. That part was not in Matameo, though. Q. Q is for. Kuwaka? The kuwaka is a fuzzy kind of wallaby related to the kangaroo, you see. Kuwakas spring and hop and crouch and hold their babies in their pouch. R. R is for Rattel. The Rattel looks almost like a skunk, but this guy, he has a lot more spunk. He eats buffalo and poison snakes and never gets a belly. He eats buffalo? How big is he? Also, he looks like the honey badger. Honey badgers are freaking amazing. S. S is for Sugar Glider. Oh, I know this. Uh... Let's player Masayanella has a few sugar gliders uh, as pets. They're awesome. The sugar glider looks like a flying squirrel. From tree to tree, it glides and twirls. It loves to eat anything that's sweet. Flowers and sap make a tasty treat. What a tasty treat! T. T is for Tarsier. Here's a little mammal called a Tarsier. He hunts at night and sleeps all day. His eyes are big as big can be and has sticky feet to climb up trees. He's like a frog meets... These guys are weird. You. Holy cow. U is for Uak Uakari. The, in the Amazon lives this monkey, and Uakari is his name. He's got a bright red face, you see, and it's his claim to fame. V. V is for... Viscacha. Viscachas live underground in burrows, sharing them with snakes and squirrels. They heap piles of junk upon their homes, from lost toys to trash to stones and bones. Oh, wow. He looks so proud of that fact, too. He's like, I'm a fat bunny. Love me. I, I would. W. W's for Wombat. These aren't that weird. Wombat has great spiky hair, and he's roly-poly as a bear. If he's chased, he runs to hide and finds a hole and sticks his head inside. X is for Ziphasura. Ziphasura is quite a, pro a proper name, but he's a horseshoe crab all the same. He has lived in mudflats among the coast for 300 million years, and that's no boast. Do we actually know that? How do we measure something that's 300 million years old? Because we don't... Carbon dating wouldn't even work, because you need things that we know are 300 million years old in order for it to give an accurate estimate. That seems odd. Why? Why is for yak? These aren't weird! In Asia lives the great wild yak, who has a hairy head and a hairy back. The parents graze on grass and leaves, and babies drink them all the milk they need. Me. Z is for Zorilla. A Zorilla is related, related to the skunk, I think, and when he's scared, he shoots out a stink. Don't mess with him, or he'll get mad, and you'll be smelling something really bad. He, that literally just looks like a skunk. I'll, maybe I'll post a link in the, like, the description or something if nobody wants to hear me uh, go through all of those animals. 
because we can't do an annotations anymore. All right, let's go to the next part of Cartown. This is where the recycling plant is. Oh, but of course not. Hi, Putt Putt. Where are you going? I was hoping to head over the hill, Pete, but it looks like the road's blocked. It sure is. I lost my hook somewhere this morning. I heard it drop off with a clank, but I don't remember where. Without my hook, I can't move even one of these pipes. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can find your hook for you. Oh, Putt Putt, that would be so great. I could get this job done and be done in time to go see the Cartown 500. Okay, Pete. I'll keep my eyes open. Uh, okay, that guy's A, the same voice actor as Uncle Blenny for sure. And second off, what are you even doing? If you drop your hook and you need to move the job, why are you just sitting around like, I hope somebody comes up and offers to find my hook for me? <laughs> You shouldn't you be looking for the hook of yourself, especially since you know where you've been better than we do? Yo, so, Maxie, I got a joke. Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. What kind of animal should you never play cards with? Uh, I don't know. A cheetah? That was pretty good. <laughs> hey. Yo, so, Snapsy. I got a joke. Yeah? What else is new? Okay, so try me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Andy Green. Andy Green who? And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> 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 okay, that was interesting. It says nailers wanted. Uh, nailers? I don't think so. <laughs> let's let's stay away from that. Oh sweet! Wow. See, the cartel's just so big, isn't it? Someone was littering. I think I'll pick up this empty bottle and recycle it. Hmm. Interesting that you can find a bottle here. I actually don't think I've ever knew that. Man, there's like a sheep outbreak. There. Are <laughs> How are there sheep in Cartown? Oh yeah, because we have no use for, like, wool or anything. So we don't need to, like, domesticate them. Oh wow. They were gonna play volleyball. Oh my gosh, you can make the trees play volleyball. This... This is the best part of the game. How did the designers even do this? Because everything's a image. Wow. I am in heaven right now. This is the best. Mario Volleyball has got, like, nothing on this. Holy cow! This is so good! Aw. Uh, that, okay, I, that was surprisingly fun. Holy cow. Um, what? <laughs> The, the phone booth is blowing up. Papa, maybe we should go away. Maybe that would be a good idea. It's a picture of a horn. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah? You want to make something out of this? <laughs> you dumb wizards. I will, I will beat you. We're going to race, and I will beat you at a race, because I'm a freaking car. I knew I should have taken that right turn at Albuquerque. Hot ziggity, a bottle. Yeah, so I know there, it looks like we only have three bottles in our inventory. We have, it, it keeps track of how many bottles we have, but it'll only show three at a time. Uh-oh, the one-lane road. So this is, okay, A, this is not a one-lane road. We can easily fit two cars on this road. B, there's no sign that says, hey, it's a one-lane road. I guess there's the horn sign, but whatever. Oh, no. Move it, move it. It's a one-lane tunnel. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the army was driving through here. Whoa. Watch out, Shenny. Not again. <laughs> I honk. It's my turn. Um, can I go through now? Whoa. A one lane tunnel. Oh, is it, sir? I'm so sorry. Oh, no. 
Move it, move it. It's a one lane tunnel. You just went through here. I'm sorry, I didn't know your twin brother was coming through. Not again. I say, I sounded my horn. Are they just driving in loops over and over again? Like, we're not letting this stupid pup buck guy go through. So, yeah, you, you can't go through this tunnel unless you honk first. Because apparently, honking is signaling, hey, I'm going for the tunnel. But you better watch out. What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. No, you can't. Oh, yeah, it's the farm. So apparently, Cartown is just expanding big time. Instead of just having a gas station, a toy store, and like a coloring place, and a car wash, and, and I guess the grocery store and the fire station, now we got a farm, we have a library, and we got a recycling plant, and we've actually got more stuff in the other part of town that we haven't explored yet. Hey, dude, you're John. You're John, right? Hi, Torval Tractor. No. Nope. Oh, hey there, Pot. But what brings you out this way? <laughs> Mr. Baldini wanted me to pick up some things at your farm. Oh, yeah, he told me all about that. You go right ahead. Thanks. Okay, so this tractor runs the farm, and apparently he just lets people pick stuff off his farm willy-nilly. It's like Baldini's like, oh, I need to sell some stuff for money. Can I have your produce for free? Oh, sure, Baldini. This will be great. <laughs> Hi, Torval Tractor. Oh, hey there, Pot, but... <laughs> hey, uh, play me a song. Play it, Stan. I like the little tree that's known as broccoli, all steamed up on a plate, a vegetable so great. Cover it with cheese or eat it all alone, there always should be broccoli in each and every home. No, broccoli sucks. <laughs> I mean, I don't like broccoli. And obviously, yeah, if you cover it with cheese, it's gonna taste better, but it also won't be healthy anymore. I love to eat the summer squash all mashed up in a pot or sliced up on my plate. I've got to eat a lot of all the vegetables I grow deep within the ground. I have to say that summer squash is the best I've ever found. Yeah! Is that so? Wow, it's a flashlight! Hey, Pot, but you want that whole thing? It's not really working. Do you know what's wrong with it, Torble? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Jeez, <laughs> oh, don't you go mentioning it now. People around Car Town are very, very stupid. I mean, he's like, oh, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. It's like, oh, do you know what's wrong with it? Yeah, no batteries. Got to throw it out to buy a new one. It's like, ah. Or you could go to the toy store and pick up the free batteries they have. <laughs> Speaking of which, if we combine the two... It's gonna be a mess to think about it for a little bit, but then, once it's done thinking about it, something magical will happen. Hey, I bet the batteries I got at the toy store will fit in this. Perfect! Yeah, so now we've got a working flashlight, which is pretty cool. Oh, what the... Um, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> There's some black magic going on around here, and I'm pretty sure Mrs. Airbag is behind it. What the heck? <laughs> that is one eccentric cow you have there, Sonny. The outlook for the weather today for the Car Town 500 cool. Oh. I wanted to hear that. Traffic is really backed up out by the new construction. Apparently some pipes are blocking the road. Other than that, car town traffic is really flowing. There's no traffic. There's like no NPC except for the tunnel. And by the way, there's nobody on this side. How many people were at his farm picking his produce for nothing? And he's like, oh yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Just keep driving down the, the tunnel and honking and preventing Pot Pot from going through. So there's a farm that way, there's a fun little mini- well, some people find it absolutely terrible minigame, but I think it's fun that way. But we're kind of out of time for today, so we'll be going to the farm minigame later on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Oh, hang on. Better save first. But yeah, tune, us, tune in next time for farm fun. And we'll probably be exploring the rest of the map. So, look forward to that. Have a great day, and God bless.
A salad is a treat, any time at all. Just get a head of lettuce all round and in a ball. Break apart the leaves, so fresh and good for you. The lettuce that they grow is the best, I think it's true.